Hello and welcome to the Met Office forecast for the week ahead. It's that time of year that's when we get light winds and a bit of sunshine. It starts to feel like summer. But when the wind picks up, when we get the sun going in, it feels like winter again. And it will feel like a toss up between summer and winter at times this week, wherever you are. It is going to turn a little colder and that means gardeners beware. There'll be a return to frosty nights. However, on the flip side, there'll also be some sunshine. Many places dry and where the sun shines, where the wind falls light, it's going to feel like summer. So a toss up between summer and winter at times through the week, depending on where you are. Always the case that west is best because high pressure will be anchored close to the north of Scotland and we've got this easterly airflow that's helping to bring in colder air from Scandinavia. But it means that western areas will be fairly sheltered. One exception though, on Tuesday, weather fronts across southern counties of England and Wales will bring thicker cloud and some really heavy rain for southeast England, a wet start to the day here for London and the home counties. And then that rain pushes into central southern England, South Wales around lunchtime before easing and bringing a damp end to the day for the southwest of England. Elsewhere, largely dry, there'll be plenty of sunshine for Scotland, Northern Ireland, as well as much of Wales and the Midlands as well as East Anglia. But behind this rainfall, we've got cold air sinking southwards across the country as well. So a very different feel to the day for some parts of the UK compared to Monday afternoon, feeling much colder for parts of East Anglia into Lincolnshire, northeast England. Single figures around the beaches. Further west, a slither of sunshine there for central areas, 12 to 14 degrees. But where we've got the cloud, those temperatures will struggle. Clear skies fairly widely on Tuesday night, I mean that uh, fairly widespread frost on Wednesday morning. Temperatures in towns and cities, low single figures, down below freezing in the countryside, uh, apart from the southern counties of England where we keep a bit of cloud going through the night. So frosty start, but a bright start for many on Wednesday. Thicker cloud pushes into parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, as well as eastern and northern England. There'll still be some breaks in that, but it will be quite dull around coastal areas. One or two showers into eastern Scotland as well. But most places will be dry. The best of the sunshine and the highest temperatures, Wales in the southwest, 12 to 14 degrees. Not much change then as we head towards the end of the week. The weather in a fairly static mood at the moment and that's because the jet stream which normally brings changeable weather to the UK, it's moving in from North America, this fast flowing current of winds high in the sky and then it just splits in two. You can see one branch goes well to the north of the UK, one branch dives to the south in between a vacuum and in that vacuum lies high pressure, still situated to the north of the UK, still bringing us this easterly airflow, which is fairly chilly over the next few days coming out of Scandinavia. However, there will be a lot of dry weather around that airflow, keeping these weather fronts to the west of the UK. And actually, for Wales in the southwest, another sunny start to a Thursday, keeping long spells of sunshine well into the afternoon but a frosty start in many places. Now for northern and eastern parts of the UK, here we've got thicker cloud, a few showers as well, and temperatures in the single figures. Friday's a similar day, a few more showers developing, I suspect, for Scotland, northern England, as well as central and southeastern parts of England. Some heavy downpours in the far southeast, and it's going to feel cold again around these eastern areas, seven to nine degrees, but further west, sunny spells, and temperatures in the double figures. Now into the weekend, these weather fronts try to move in from the west, but they are blocked by high pressure. And that means that there is the chance of cloudier skies and some rain for Northern Ireland at times into the weekend. But I suspect largely it will be held back. This high pressure will muscle its way in across the UK, bringing mostly dry weather through Saturday and Sunday. But again, that breeze from the east will make it feel cold. The jet stream, still a mess heading into the weekend, thoroughly contorted around the UK. And that tends to mean that it's not gonna be very effective at bringing in areas of low pressure. So for most high pressure remaining into the weekend, it's going to be mostly dry, but that wind from the North Sea will make it feel cold in the east. The brightest skies will be in the west as well as the highest temperatures. More details can be found via the Met Office social media channels and of course by downloading our app. Bye bye.